Hello, Sheldon Gould here <coughs> with SNN Custom Lawn Care out of Glanstone, Manitoba. Uh, just doing a quick video update today. Um, it was a busy day. Yeah, my shop mouse just ran across the floor. <laughs> I don't know where he was going. He's going a different direction tonight. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, Sheldon Gould with SNN Custom Lawn Care. Wanted to do an update uh, just to. Uh, because I haven't done a video in a couple of days. We kind of had a busy day today. Not a whole lot with the lawn care stuff, but it been busy. Woke up this morning, uh, it was raining. We had a bit of a rainstorm go through here. We didn't get much rain. It rained till about, uh, I think it was about 12.30 p.m. And then it stopped raining. Uh, I had a couple of lawns to go mow in Gladstone, Manitoba, but it was kind of wet, so I gave it a couple hours. Uh, I went into Gladstone about, I think we left here about 2 o'clock, 2.30. Went into town and uh, mowed a yard. Um, while I was there mowing it, the guy actually came out. He wants some hedges trimmed up, so the next time I'm in to do his yard, I will... Uh, him a couple of hedges they're just small hedges he's got two of them and they're about about 20 feet 25 feet long won't take too much uh, just trim the tops up trim the sides up uh, he's got a tree on the back of his house that's growing right against his house and is actually uh, the tree is kind of eating his uh, eave troughs and going up into a shingle so we're gonna uh, trim around that doesn't want too much trimmed, he just wants to make sure the tree doesn't rub on his roof and wreck his shingles. So we're going to do that. Uh, went and did another house that is a bi-weekly mowing. House is actually for sale, so it's vacant. So we mowed that. Um, while I was mowing, I was going around a tree. All of a sudden, the back tires of the John Deere X530 sunk in the ground. I thought, oh, it's just soft because of the rain. So I kept mowing around this tree I was doing around going around this tree and then all of a sudden a bunch of hornets or uh, bumblebees or something coming out of the ground so I didn't fall into mud I fell into an in-ground beehive or hornet's nest <clears throat> luckily I got the tree all mowed around before anything could sting me so uh, got that done got that yard all mowed up uh, I let the customer know that she does have an in-ground hornet's nest or bees nest I also let the realtor know so that if she's showing the, ho showing the house, she's not going to be walking into a bee's nest. So, uh, yeah, it rained this morning, went into town, mowed a couple of yards, um, got a couple other yards to mow, but I'm waiting on the customer to call me because I've left it up them, left it to them to call me to let me know when to go mow. And then I'm still waiting on a key for... Uh, Bell MTS had uh, to do a tower at the Woodside Radio Tower. I haven't heard back from them, but I know they are looking into trying to get me a key for that. Uh, then we came home. Uh, the wife went out and trimmed the dog's toenails because they were getting long. My one dog, Ace, has a bit of a limp, and we thought, well, maybe it's just his toenails. He's got long toenails, so we clipped them, but he's still limping. But uh, we'll see over the next couple of days if uh, it was his toenails or for something else. Uh, th <clears throat> then uh, we went and planted the rest of the garden. Uh, I know it is getting late. Um, after I got it tilled there a couple of days ago, um, we went and planted. We got some giant pumpkins. We planted corn, beans, peas, cauliflower cabbage, zucchini, I don't know, there's a bunch of stuff the wife planted, I helped her do a little bit, but I was looking after her son because he's two and a half lengths to run everywhere, so he was in the wagon, so I was busy pulling him around the garden while the wife Jackie there was planting the garden, and then uh, I just noticed in the last half hour I've been getting warnings on my phone they're calling for severe weather for here tonight again, I guess. Got a couple of uh, severe thunderstorm warnings. Uh, so we'll see what happens overnight. Um, came back home, unloaded the truck, 
I had the push mower in the truck, I had the chainsaw, leaf blower, a couple of jerry cans of gas. So I unloaded those because we got to go to Portage tomorrow. We got some paperwork to do at Town Hall. Uh, unhitched from the trailer because I had to take the trailer because I had the X, John Deere X530 there and it doesn't fit in the truck, so we had to put it in the trailer. So, uh, getting ready to go to Portage tomorrow. Um, my weed whacker, the still weed whacker, got to put new cord in it. Uh, ran out of cord. It's actually done pretty good. This is the first time I've ran out since the start of the the spring season. So it's done pretty good. So I got to get uh, spool that up, put new cord in it. Um, other than that, not too much. Um, I am actually building a um, a trellis for our backdrop for our renewal. So I was out in the bush yesterday. I cut down six uh, six big trees, pine trees or not pine trees, spruce trees. I think they are. Uh, I cut those down and I've made a trellis. I would show you, but it's out in the dark tonight, and I it's behind my truck and trailer, and it's in the dark, and you can't see much. But I'm building a trellis for our wedding renewal, which is uh, coming up here August 10th. So I'm working on that. Uh, ran out of screws. I'm using great big screws to make sure the thing stands up. Uh, I got a couple more pieces to cut uh, for braces. So we're when we're in Portage tomorrow, Portage, Manitoba, I'm going to go to probably Rona and get some more screws so that I can get that finished up. Uh, the only problem with that thing is it's fairly heavy. I might need two or three people to move it or figure out how to move it with the skid steer. So I'm busy working on that. Uh, it's just made out of basic trees. about, I don't know, three inch, four inch trees. And then uh, cut it all with a chainsaw with my still. So I'm putting that together. It's... Uh, it's a it's a rough job. It's my first time ever building one, but it looks looks pretty good. We want kind of the rustic country look, and it, it's basically a rustic country looking thing. So I'm busy uh, building that. Like I said, got to get more screws. I'm just about done. I got pretty much all the pieces cut. I just got two more braces to cut, and then I'll put that together and drag it over to our backyard where we're going to have our bow renewal, and then. Uh, Hopefully be able to put it up without it falling apart. <clears throat> um, other than that, not too much. Uh, got rain this morning. They're calling for a thunderstorm tonight, so I don't know what we'll get tonight. Um, I do got to go back into town to uh, the customer that I mowed today. He wants, like I said, the hedge trimmed and some trees trimmed around his eave troughs. And then I got two other yards in Gladstone, Manitoba that uh, need mowed too. And then... I got another lady who just bought a house and I think she takes it over either today or the 28th. So I got that yard coming up. And I still got uh, the MTS job to do for Bell MTS. Uh, whacking down and mowing down the weeds at the bottom of a cell tower. Or a radio tower, whatever they call it. So yeah, it was a, it was a busy day today but it wasn't really busy with lawn care. We did do two yards, or I did two yards. The wife and my son, Wyatt, <coughs> did come along with me, but they sat in the truck. These yards are pretty open, so I could do them pretty much all with the riding mower. And then I took the push mower and did a little bit of trimming. Found a hornet's nest. Luckily, I didn't get stung, surprisingly, actually. Um, other than that, uh, not much to, uh, going on. Uh, had a couple of phone calls to uh, do some mowing, I gave some quotes, I'm waiting on to hear back and see what happens with that. Uh, had another guy phone me about uh, DJing a social, a New Year's social in Brandon, Manitoba in a dome building at the Keystone Center. So uh, I dealt with that. There goes my mouse again from the other side of the shop. I don't know what he's doing tonight, he's taking a different path. As long as he doesn't crawl up my pant leg and bite me, I'm good. I don't know what he's up to. Anyways, it's uh, Sheldon Gould with s Custom Lawn Care. Just wanted to give a brief update on what's going on. And just kind of explain what my day was like. 
It uh, was busy. A couple of lawns, trimming dogs toenails on two dogs, uh, running to town getting jobs done, mowing there. Picked up a little bit of groceries, came home, planted the garden, put my son to bed, unloaded the truck, unhitched the trailer, getting ready to go to Portage, Manitoba tomorrow. But I uh, just want to give a shout out. So it's uh, Sheldon Gould with s Custom Lawn Care. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you have any comments, put them in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, s and Custom Lawn Care. You can also subscribe to our groups and our pages on Facebook, s and Custom Lawn Care and Sonic Slade and Music Productions. And if you want to add me up myself, I'm on Facebook under Sheldon Gould. It's uh, Sheldon Gould with SNN Custom Lawn Care and Sonic Slade Music Productions. Thanks for watching.